Solutions of quadratic functions. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find number of solutions for a given quadratic equation. Question here is without graphing determine the number of x intercepts of the graph of the following quadratic functions. So we are given four different quadratic functions and all of them are in different forms. I'd like you to pause the video, copy this question, answer and then look into my suggestions. The first one is f of x equals to x squared minus 4x plus 4 which is in standard form. Then we have g of x equals to 1 plus 2 times x plus 1 whole square which is in vertex form. And then h of x equals to x times x minus 1 in factored form. And p of x equals to minus 3 x minus 1 whole square which is mixed of uh, you can say vertex or factored form. Now I would like you to pause the video and answer how many x intercepts will be there for each one of them. Here is my suggestion. Whenever given in standard form you need to find the discriminant which is b square minus 4ac correct. Now in this case b is minus 4 so we can find minus 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is plus 4 and that gives you how much? Minus 4 squared is 16 and 4 times 4 is 16 the answer is 0. If discriminant is 0 then how many x intercepts do you expect? The answer is just 1 right so that is the answer for a. The next one here is we have in vertex form what is the vertex? Now vertex of this function is at minus 1 plus 1 right and the direction of opening is what it opens in which direction upward since the coefficient is positive now the y value is always is already positive and it opens upward that means this is this is minimum at minimum uh, minimum value is is 1 right so minimum is 1 and from there it goes up that means how many x intercepts none right so zero in this case right now you can always sketch and figure out the next one here is it's kind of straight we are given in intercept form and there are two zeros one is at x equals to zero the other one is at x equals to one so there are two in this case and in the third one also well you can say the vertex is at which point the vertex is at 1 and 0 right that means it is on the x-axis itself right or if you can use it as a factor form x minus 1 times x minus 1 then also you know at x equals to 1 we have x intercept and the answer is just 1 in this case also I hope that helps now I'll request you to sketch each one of these functions and check it for yourself I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.